Okay. Let's get something else. Wagon land. Still cannot get my tongue around that word. Wagon land. Okay. Wagon land. Still doesn't sound quite right. Well, we could also go with the other stylized English version of just wagon land. People that watch Game Center CX are probably familiar with this game, because Arino played it in one of the seasons, cannot honestly remember which. I'm gonna go ahead and, um... Okay. Oop. Gotta get my controls here. Okay. So we are this little robot dinosaur creature. We go wah. <laughs> For the time being, we go wah anyways. After we pick up another little version of ourselves, we go... Yeah, <laughs> and a little version of ourselves again, and we go ga with a big ol' sound effect. In this game, you can only stun enemies with our basic attacks. There will be things. Okay, this is new. I don't know why I'm blue. This was not in the Famicom version, but turning blue gives us an additional hit. That is awesome. But yes, uh, we only stun enemies with our basic attacks. Otherwise, enemies that touch us will auto-kill us, unless we have our blue spray paint, apparently. Come on now. Music in this is not quite as good as it was in the Famicom version, but that's understandable. Famicom was a little bit... Uh, higher grade than the Game Gear was. Um, there was a... I, I think what you might be thinking of, Zeta, there was a Hello Kitty game that had almost identical... You know, with picking up three things and then picking up a fourth game that gives you... or a fourth game fourth power-up that gives you invincibility. I don't think it was in English. I think it was also in Japanese. don't know if there were any English things. And yes, that was indeed a branching path. We took the top path. No, oh, and there I got killed. <laughs> well, the graphics probably look a little bit off because this is a Game Gear game that's trying its best to be a Famicom game. It's actually bothered to save state more often. Wait, no, 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 there was, um... Wacky Races did something incredibly similar. Muttley had a very similar pick up three bones to get the best attack and pick up a fourth bone to gain invincibility. So Wacky Races did this same exact thing. So I guess this was a very common setup for games. I don't know if they were all made by the same company or what happened with that, but yeah. Okay, and now this is unique to Waggy and Land, wherein he finds a a, a, a noun here, and says what it is, and then takes the last character of that for ice cream that was kusuri, so now we have to find another word that starts with ri. So we take, well, first we, um, load state so that we're not wasting so much time, because we have only so much time allowed, it will not reset, I don't believe, between, could be wrong with that, but still. <laughs> Anyways, we pick Squirrel, which is Risu. Now he has to pick something that starts with Su. And he picked Suika, Watermelon. Now we have to find something that starts with Ka. And there is a thing where, like, this could be Sneaker, or Shoe, or a number of, like, each thing is not just one thing. There are 
many things they could be. So, yeah. Alright, let's try and find something that... Since I'm not completely fluent and don't know every single word, we'll have to save it around. Okay, Kame for that little urn or pot thing. Really? Okay. <laughs> and I... Yes, um... The little two red bars that had been stacked up there. If we make him fail enough times to get that red bar up above that little dart that had been on the left side, I think it's like... Maybe another four or five of those little red bars to get it up there. Then we would have gotten an extra life, since that was the quota. But we didn't make a quota, so we did not get an extra life out of it. But that's really okay. Although we did apparently get an extra life somewhere, somehow. Oh, and here on the third level of power, the word we are shouting as a weapon is just a giant yeah. be trying to beat this, but I will admit I've never actually beaten a Wagian land game, simply because the requirements for beating the final boss are that you have to get the uh, little word game there up to the quota. And now we play a matching game. Bear, apple, mouse, and well, there's the rabbit. Somewhere here is the cat. Yeah, we found the other car, we found the other bear, found the other hourglass. It's gonna be the very last one we check, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Oh, and we still get to keep going. Alright. We have to listen to the blather. Like, we cannot move and do things while the other person is talking. And we just have to find enough things to fill the quota. rather unresponsive, and I don't know why. Always seems like menu controls are more unresponsive than actual game controls, and that never made sense to me. What? Oh, we're still going. Why? We've beaten the quota. <laughs> wow. So it is. It's just... Totally reversed. could get a 7-up. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. 
that would be an enemy. And that enemy can be killed. That is quite new for this series. Usually everything can only be stunned. And I'm not gonna get the invincibility. I think we can... I think we will be better off with the giant attack than with temporary invincibility. A lot of really lengthy jumps in this stage. Hmm, well... Despite what I just said, if any more of those things show up... I guess more of those things are not going to show up. Oh well. <laughs> what the... sure about that, because Yo Noid is directly based off of, um, Masked Ninja Hanamaru. Or, Kamen no Ninja Hanamaru. And I guess... Because in Yo Noid and in Masked Ninja, you're not barfing letters or <laughs> words, you are just... You have a yo-yo attack, or... In the case of the ninja, he has a little bird attack. Although we can definitely see some other similarities beyond that. Fortunately, the pizza thing is nowhere in this. We just instead get word game and matching game. And here we go with this again. Okay, so ostrich starts with da. Dacho is ostrich. Which I shouldn't be saying what things are because I can't really read what they are since maybe it doesn't mean ostrich, maybe it means emu or some other kind of thing like that. Since it's that kind of weird system. Okay, and now we have springy thing, which, sure, why not? Lost the ability to shout words, but gained the ability to kill enemies. That I am quite happy with. Oh, except when we walk straight into them. Who knows, maybe those other... the pink and the blue spray paints also gave me unique powers that I just didn't realize how to activate. to the same snag that I did while playing through the game on the Famicom, or on the NES as it were, just emulated, kind of hard to say, one way or the other, what it specifically is. There we go. Ah, now they're replacing images. So 
I should be doing this on a separate save state due to the fact that, um... Okay. At any point I could get into a situation where he has put me into a s ah, spot where I can't actually answer. Hey, and we win. Now we're closing in on the end of the game. So we're somewhere in and around halfway through. And now we can get back to state zero. Again, with these really lengthy jumps. I know a lot of games have precision in jumping and all, but that's a little bit ridiculous. Mm, and also, that is a very easy thing to do, to get things stunned in where they are... Come on, come on. Again, I would use the, uh... <laughs> speed button on this Game Gear emulator, but it goes to about 10,000%, so it's really not really worth using. It would get me so far past where I actually would want to be, that it would just be detrimental and I'd have to go back and do it again anyway. Okay, so what do we got? Word game or matching? Oh, hey, matching. Let's see if the same exact pattern holds up. Because Zeta reminded me, even though I don't think he has seen this particular episode of Game Center CX, that there are, in fact, patterns to every single one of these matching games. It's just a matter of figuring them out. Okay, I think we got this one. Hmm, no, maybe not. Nearly got this one. Just got to figure out a little bit more. That should not be... okay. There we go. Okay. Now we got this one. And that'd be the car. Oh. Hmm. So, mostly patterns. <laughs> Doesn't follow exact formulas, apparently. still follows that. And then follows that over there. That'll be upper right corner. No. <laughs> no. Dang it. Hmm? Oh. Okay, so 
patterns to a certain extent. There we go, that was like a half second of the Genesis or Giga Fusion Game Gear and later Turbo. Got through everything in that, which would have taken around 10 seconds at least. In that, like, half, quarter, two thirds of a second. Right, and that would be where invincibility runs out and I'm not really paying attention. Kind of that sort of game where you just sort of space out after a bit of playing it. Because it's just so samey. The boss battles and the uh, gameplay itself, it's a very generic y type of platformer, which is not really amazing. We are facing off against Dr. Devil. Entirely what I said earlier. We'll just get all the invincibility since it is so much faster. Hmm, another split path. I do you believe we want to head up? Come on. Head upwards. There we go. Let's just double check really quickly. down here first. See what's down this particular split path. 